I'm Monica Mangan, and I believe that updating your home doesn't have to take a ton of time or money. I show people how to get Pinterest-worthy spaces that are just right for them. Oh my god! This is okay. unbelievable! Give me one weekend, I'll give you five projects, and you'll have a completely transformed space by Monday. This weekend I am in Nashville, Tennessee, aka Music City USA, and it is totally fitting because I am helping a singer-songwriter this weekend. She wants to make over her master bedroom in her rental. So, of course, it's going to be a little tricky. Rentals always come with rules, but this girl loves Nashville. She loves everything country music, and this is her home. Now we just need to make her bedroom feel like home. I'm Morgan and I'm here in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm a country music singer. I love country music. It's in everything that I do. And I live here in East Nashville. The artsy part of town, older houses, to me they have a little bit more charm. I wanted Monica to come and take my blank canvas and take the ideas I have in my head along with her expertise and come up with something amazing and cool. And so it doesn't feel like a rental, so it feels like my style, my room, and I feel comfortable in it. All right, this is a great space. This is your blank canvas. This is a blank canvas. So tell me what's going on here. What are we uh, looking to do? I do love the white. I love the cleanliness of this blank canvas, but it doesn't really have like a style. This is a rental but it's also my house. How do I make this my home even though I am renting? Right now I would almost describe it as like shabby chic. Like you yes. have small little florals, you have kind of a, an antiqued piece of furniture, mm -hmm. but from what you said to me ahead of time, that's not what you're going for here. So no. what are we doing? What are we looking for? I love the older stuff made new. Growing okay. up, me and my mom used to flip a lot of pieces. So I do love to repurpose okay. pieces. Mm -hmm. But I really like, like natural elements, like wood grains, okay. um, natural colors, furs. Okay. Love the, you know, animal skulls, but I'm also like girly in the sense of love chandeliers and All right. that kind of glitz and glam. So a little eclectic. So definitely maybe like some Southwest influence, like because you're saying furs and maybe like steer heads, stuff like that. Uh, yes. But then a little glam, a little girly too. Yeah. So the trick here though is that this is a rental. So we're limited in what we can do. No painting. No painting. So this is East Nashville. The houses are older. Everything is a little crooked, I feel like. We're going to call that charming character. <laughs> but with that said, no structural changes. Okay. So that's really going to limit us to bringing things into the room, really. Yeah. And maybe putting up some temporary finishes. Yes. I kind of have some wallpaper in my mind. Wallpaper. Yes. That sounds permanent. Just, right. just trust me on this one. We'll All get right. you that deposit. Back. I'm excited. I'm always songwriting, so I would like to have a space that, you know, yeah. Not that I need like a songwriting nook or anything, but just okay, a, but a place where you could sit down and yeah. I, don't, I know nothing about music. I'll be like really honest with you. So yeah. Like, slightly intimidated knowing that you're like a great musician. I'm just going to stick to the design stuff, but well, well, if you teach me anything along the way, I'm cool with it. We're so. going to school you on some country music while you're in town. Oh gosh. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to take you honky tonkin', Monica. All right. I think we should. Amen. Amen. Are you, Amen. Is that a southern thing? It's a southern thing. Is that the first part of my country training there? It is. Southern 101. Well, we'll keep the lessons going, but we have a lot to do, so let's get started. Let's do it. All right, you ready for our first big build of the weekend? I am. Okay, it's all about your bed, okay? But we're not building a headboard. I build a lot of headboards, we're not doing that. Okay. So we're actually gonna kind of channel a little bit of like a country lodge vibe and we're gonna build a four post bed. I love that, I had a four post bed growing up. You did? Yeah. Sweet. Well, yes. we are gonna put a southern spin on this, okay? Okay. So we're gonna build ours out of a little bit more rough wood. Everything's gonna have a little bit of raw texture to it and I think okay. when we're done it's gonna be really cool. I love it. I think this is gonna be a cool project and one of the biggest statement pieces in the room. We have one box okay that are cut down these ones are three inches okay. and then we have these little baby guys at one inch okay? okay when we box them all together it's gonna make a post so we're actually just gonna build our own it's gonna be simple and we'll get her done nice okay get her done that's a southern thing Ooh, amen 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 <laughs> 
I chose to build our own posts because I wanted them to be a bit smaller than a standard 4 inch prefab post. All we're doing is gluing then nailing the lumber together, the 1x3s lay flat and the 1x1s go on their side to form the post. Super simple. So we're going to make three more of these and then I've already pre-cut our cross pieces so we'll keep going on these and then we'll assemble them in the room. Okay, sounds good. Nice work. I am good with a gun. You are. <laughs> Well, I hope she's just as good with the brush because we've got to get a coat of walnut stain in these bad boys to pretty them up before we install them on the bed. We got the last one, Maddie. So, Matt has already started kind of putting this together. How's this going? Good. You good. need my help? Uh, Always? Always need my help? Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> She's like, sure, stay away. So, Matt is working on the end, kind of like the footboard frame, and here, this is like your headboard frame there, okay? okay? And it's attached to the metal bed frame that you have. We're just attaching it with a couple screws so that way if and when you choose to move, you can take it apart and take it with you. Yes. Cool. We built eight posts all together, one for each corner of the bed, then four around the top that surround the bed. They not only look great, but will also help give support to the upright posts. We're securing everything with heavy duty exterior decking screws. I love it. It's very rustic, mm -hmm. but at the same time with a clean line, super modern. Yeah. It's weird how it's both, but it works. I have a few little surprises and finishing touches, and I feel like once the bed is all pulled together, you're going to love it even more. You got it? Yep. All right. You know how I mentioned we were going to do some wallpapering? Yes. The time has come. We are actually going to be wallpapering your closet door. What? Yes. I know you're a little worried about the wallpaper being too permanent for you. Yes. Okay, it is not. We are actually dealing with temporary wallpaper. It's like peel and stick, giant sticker. Normally you do it on the walls. We're actually gonna be doing it on your closet door. It's just kind of a cool, different way to do it. Like a big sticker, you just put on and peel off. Yep. I love yeah. it. Very cool. It's gonna be good, and it is temporary. Nice, so it can come off. It can come off, but All your right. landlord's gonna love it so much, he'd never dream of taking it off. I might just take the door with me. <laughs> and keep my scare deposit. Yeah. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> All right, you wanna see this paper? I do. Okay. <gasps> Wood grain. Wood grain. Coolest thing, feel it. Yeah. It looks and feels like wood. It's textured, how cool. Isn't that cool? All right, so take this and check this out. So cool, right? Oh my goodness. Feel it, feel it, feel it. It looks real. It is awesome. It looks like aged old barn wood. It really does. It's gonna add style, texture, sophistication, a whole lot of awesomeness to this room. Right up my alley, I love it. This stuff is really easy to work with, even for beginners. First step is to cut your paper a bit larger than your working space, whether that's your wall, or in this case, the door. All it takes is a utility knife. So this is a great project for two people. I'm gonna get it kind of lined up and you're gonna peel back when we're ready. I'm making sure to flatten out any air bubbles trapped under the paper with my super duper fancy patented bare hands. <laughs> Normally on the wall, you'd have to match up exactly. I don't wanna run the risk of any white showing, so let's just overlap it a bit. Okay, that'll make it easier. Quick pro tip, always make sure your wallpaper pattern lines up at your seams when one piece meets the next. <laughs> Alright, so when you have these little bubbles, take your thumb and press it this way. The air just needs a place to escape. So if you go towards a seam or an edge, it'll go right out. Okay. <laughs> we became best friends. <laughs> Last build of the day, okay? And we are gonna build you a desk, <gasps> all right? My little creative space. Exactly, I want a place where you can sit and write music and do what you do. Nice. And I also wanted to make it kind of versatile so it's gonna have storage as well. Need that, love that. And yeah. it's also gonna look pretty freaking cool. Okay. We're gonna build an A-frame desk. Oh, I love that. So each side is gonna have an A-frame with shelving and then running across it will be your desk. To achieve the shape, we're just taking one by fours, forming them into an A, and attaching a piece of lumber flat across the top. Can you hold that in place? Let's get it nice and plush. Then it's on to the lower cross sections. Now that it's clamped exactly in place, we'll drill in with our Craig screws, and okay. it's gonna hold it really firmly. This is where it gets a little trickier. We want to hide the screws we're attaching them with, so we're using a pocket hole technique. Matt already pre-drilled these cracks. They'll allow for the screws to be hidden inside the wood on the inside of the desk. Pretty neat trick. 
Once all our cross pieces are in place, we're adding simple plywood shelves cut to size. Shelving for storage at the top and the bottom. This middle area is where your desk is gonna be. The desk is the same deal, a sheet of plywood, but this one extends across both A-frames to create the desk surface. So then this area will be where you sit and you can work. Then you have storage on either side. What do you love think? It. I love it. It's a great design. And it's pretty simple, right? Yeah, it is. So I have a few more things I need to do to finish this up. I'm gonna paint this piece, get it ready to put in the room tomorrow, but I hear you have a show to get ready for. I have a show tonight. Are you coming? We are. I'm so excited about it. So do you know much about country music or do Not we have to school you there? You gotta school me there. But I'm considering this part of my southern education. It is. It's so. like beer, right. bourbon. Well, yep. I'm going to work on this and you go get ready to do your thing. Sounds good. All I'll right. see you there. See ya. So I'm giving my friend Monica the Southern 101 schooling. So on the count of three, I need y'all to say, hey y'all. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Hey y'all. This one goes out to Monica. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. Day two. Ready to do this thing? Ready to do it. All right. We have a lot to do today. <laughs> we do. Have you had breakfast? I have not. I've got a treat for you. You got a treat for me? I do. All right. This is lesson... Two, maybe two, two three, of, four. of Southern 101. All right. Before we eat breakfast, we have to get breakfast. This is my grocery shopping. This is so cool. <laughs> Welcome to the Grand Old Poultry House. The Grand Old Poultry House. Of course. It's adorable and terrifying all at once. <laughs> We have Henny Pearl, she's fancy. Okay, she's fancy. <laughs> yeah. Reba Peckentire, Reba she's Peck. feisty. Oh gosh. We're gonna we're just gonna keep a distance from Reba. Loretta Hinn. I love this. Color. And Patsy Cluck. Patsy Cluck. So we're gonna actually gonna physically get the eggs for our breakfast. Yeah. If you're okay with that, if you're game for it. Yeah, I mean she's staring me down, but I'm cool with it. She's sitting on what I need. <laughs> just grab her? Just you did just grab her. Okay. Warm up. <gasps> gosh, no, she's jumping away. Oh, gosh. Ah! oh my god! <laughs> Who was that? I don't know! <laughs> there was just a chicken coming at my face. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I'm sorry, Patsy. We have a chicken. Okay. Go oh, there. A chicken. You're holding a chicken and you guys match. And she didn't kill me yet. She didn't kill you. You're gonna get the eggs? Look at these. Thanks. It came from you. Thank you very much. It was freaking terrifying. The chickens were scary and not worth it, and I'm just gonna go to the store for my eggs. Sorry. You're an official chicken farmer. You're an official yeah. southern girl now. Well, I'll take it. And after these fabulous eggs, we have a lot to do today. Okay, what's I'm on? I'm gonna have you work with me just a little bit more this morning, and then Maddie and I are gonna finish up this room. <gasps> so we have a busy day. It's a good thing we're starting off with some fabulous eggs. Good protein. Still not <laughs> sure it was totally worth risking my life. Since Morgan made me get the eggs, I'm making her stain a bunch of wooden crates because, well, it's only fair. They're for a fantastic storage project I'm about to show her. So you're probably wondering why I made you stain a whole lot of crates. A million crates. A million crates. You did a good job, though. It wasn't that bad. It was they look, hard. They look totally different, right? They do. They looked like brand new squeaky clean, and now they look like almost like aged, like we picked them up at a vintage shop and really yeah. we got them at Lowe's. Yep. Okay. So I wanted to give you some storage and build a unique piece. We're actually gonna build it out of these crates. Nice. Yeah. So like 90% of the building is done for us. We just need to assemble them kind of like blocks. Sounds easy. Is easy. Okay, watch this. 
The first step is to stack the crates in a pattern of your choice. Now, this is totally subjective. You can go symmetrical, asymmetrical, sideways, upright, whatever you want. I chose to do some horizontal and some vertical in a random pattern because it will contrast well with the very symmetrical lines of the bed and the desk. All right, see how on the crates there's thick sides and then thin sides? Yes. We really want to make sure we have some screws in the thicker wood because that's the stronger wood and it's going to give it some strength. You literally only need one tool, a screw gun, to put this piece together. It's going to really add some unique rustic style to the space. You like it? I love it. I mean, that was so easy. I have one project I want to work on solo that I can surprise Morgan with. She had mentioned to me that she and her mom loved thrifting and upcycling vintage pieces when she was growing up. So I have a really cool piece and I want to add it to her space. I am going to upcycle this metal cart. When I saw this in the store, you have to almost look past it and see the potential that it has. So right now, it looks like a little bit of a granny cart, but just wait until you see what I have in mind for it. My first step is going to be to spray paint all of the metal with a really nice soft gold. When you're spray painting, you're gonna to wanna to stay, I don't know, maybe like eight to 10 inches away and go in smooth passes. Already, this gold spray paint is making a huge transformation. The cart already looks better, but we're not gonna stop there. While the cart dries, I'm actually gonna try weaving this balsa wood. It's more of a craft wood. It's a very lightweight wood. You pick it up at the craft stores, but I think it's gonna be an awesome addition to the top of this tray. So you can really start to see the weaving kind of showing up now. The more you add, the more it kind of locks it into place. So I'm gonna add maybe one more row and then we will cut it down and attach it onto the tray top. All right. Next step in our upcycle is gonna to be to attach it using some construction adhesive. Adding some clamps will help keep the wood flat and secure while the adhesive dries. Should only take a couple hours. Once dry, I'm staining it with a weathered gray stain to coordinate with my crate shelving. This little fella is gonna be a perfectly unique bedside stand. I gotta tell you, I just wanna wallpaper all the things. If you can think of any other ways I can use temporary wallpaper, leave a comment, let me know. All right, this has been one weekend filled with lots of DIY, lots of Southern Charm 101, mm -hmm. and I hope y'all like what I did. <laughs> so on the count of three, you can open your eyes. One, two, three. Oh my goodness! It is so amazing! Oh my gosh! My desk. My desk where you can write all this fabulous music. I was so inspired seeing you play. Oh, I'm so glad you have a spot for it now. Oh, I love it. And the bed. Oh my gosh, it looks awesome. The lights from the bed are like perfect touch. I would never even have thought of that. A little finishing touch surprise for you. Is that like a little side cart for the... Yes, um, actually. So I upcycled that. I know that that was something that was important to you growing up. I love it. It's like a basket weave on the it top. Is. I love it. And our barn with door and drawers. Yeah, I did the drawers too. I love it. I mean, doesn't that look so different? It really, really does. You know, everything has a place in here. I feel like there's some really great storage solutions. How do you like the crate shelf we made? I love it. It is my style, it's a reflection of me, it feels like me. I personally could not have done this, could not have made it so cohesive. So you just took my Pinterest board, what I had in my mind, and made it all come together so perfectly and work so well together and I'm thrilled. We talked in the beginning about how a rental is challenging because you can't paint, we couldn't make any structural changes and how we had to bring everything in. And did we ever. <laughs> did we ever, I absolutely love it. So I hope that even though it's a rental, you really feel like you're at home when you're here. I do. I do. Good. Get out of here. I'm ready to go to bed. Adios. Bye y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. This weekend, I am back in New Orleans helping out a homeowner that has kind of a really unique space. He has a laundry room slash mud room, but then he also wants to use it to entertain. So what I have for you is this lovely Valspar paint. Oh wow. 
Blue. Me? Oh, wow. Whoa. Ooh, ah. Ooh, anyway, <laughs> that was like, ooh. Was that an ooh, ooh ah? ah. Or That's a, ooh, ah. I gotta say, guys, I loved this makeover. What did you think? And are you ready to get started and become a weekender yourself? If so, check out my boards on Lowe's Pinterest page. You can get all the products and projects from this episode and a whole lot more. And if you love DIY as much as I do, make sure you're subscribed to the Lowe's YouTube channel. That way you'll know when new episodes of The Weekender drop and check out tons of other DIY and how-to videos. See you guys next weekend. Oh, look nice. Aww. All right, go sit in the Adirondack chair with it and cuddle. What? <laughs> You're so ridiculous. Matt! Matt! I'm in the corner. <laughs>